my brothers and sisters, it is about time we realized why we are in this world. If you think you are here to enjoy within the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are mistaken. And this is why if this world was meant to be that of amusement and enjoyment beyond any limit, we would never age. We would not become old. It would be something that would be everlasting. Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us in order to prepare for the day we meet him. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. So whatever you do in life, ask yourself, is this good enough for me when I meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The reason I say this is Allah tests you. He says in the Quran and he has mentioned it in many places in Surah Al-Ankabut right at the beginning. He says, Alif Lam Mim أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون ولقد فتن الذين من قبلهم فَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ الف لام ميم الله سبحانه وتعالى starts the surah with those words none knows the meaning of it besides Allah سبحانه وتعالى he says does man think that it is enough for him to say i am a believer and then we do not test him indeed we have tested even those before him to know who is truthful in their declaration of faith and who is false so allah says he will test you and he is going to test you and me if you look at surah al-baqarah verse number taqriban 155 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wala nabluwannakum allahu akbar that alone means we will definitely test every one of you we will test you. That's why you are in the world to be tested. Are you worth that paradise? And we have heard that the more tests you have, the better you actually become. The hadith says, "Idhamul ajri ma'a idhamil ibtilah." And another hadith says, "In Allah idha ahabba abdan ibtilah." When Allah subhanahu wa taala loves someone, He places more tests in his or her life. More. So if you are having a test here. A test there, a calamity this way, a disaster that way. You need to know if you have faith and conviction, Allah loves you. One might ask, well, what is it that Allah subhanahu wa taala is going to test us in? So Allah answers this also in Surah Al-Baqarah. Just the verse I had read, number one hundred and fifty-five, where Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Wala nablu bi shayim." من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال والأنفس ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إن لله وإن we will indeed test every single one of you with some elements of fear, with some of fear, min al khawfi. So you are scared, you are worried. Sometimes this worry is because of something physical in front of you. Sometimes it is because of your age. Sometimes because of your health. Sometimes because of your wealth, sometimes because of your children, sometimes because of relatives here and there, sometimes because of a dangerous animal or a condition that you are in. There are so many different reasons why one can feel this condition of fear. Allah says, when you feel that condition, remember it's a test from us. We are testing you. We are giving you an opportunity, asking you a question. What is three thousand five hundred and fifty-eight multiplied by four thousand five hundred and ninety? Allahu Akbar. You need to scratch your head a little bit. I'm sure some of the older people already have the answer because they are not used to the calculators that we are used to. Mashallah. Allahu Akbar. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala grant us goodness. 
I've obviously given you a simple example, but if you think of it deeply, you will understand what I've said. It will take you a while to respond and to come up with the correct response. You might have to go back and try again. But when you come up with the correct response, the smile on your face and the happiness and contentment you will feel within is unmatched. Allahu Akbar. So Allah says, you have fear. It's a test from me. See how you react. Go and learn from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran and look at the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You will come to realize how a believer should be reacting when it comes to the test of fear. How did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam react when he was told that the whole army is heading for you? He says, Hasbuna Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us. And what the best of disposers he is. Allahu Akbar. He will take care of all the affairs of ours. We will try our best and we leave the rest in the hands of the Almighty. This is the response of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the calamity or should I say to the test. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. He says, Hasbun Allahu wa ni'mal wakil. He did not become suicidal and depressed. He was not from amongst those who said, Allah does not love me. He was not from amongst those who lost hope and said, what is wrong? Why me? And why is this happening? No. He says, Allah is sufficient for me. Whatever Allah wants, this is what will happen. Allahu Akbar. And that is the same response given by Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam as a young man when he was thrown into the fire. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam says, Qalaha Ibrahim hina ulqiya fin nar. Ibrahim alayhi salam said the same statement. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us and the best disposer of affairs. Allah will take care of us.